A respiratory therapist is a healthcare professional that covers everywhere in the hospital. We're not just nurses, we're not doctors, we cover everywhere. We specialize in breathing problems, but we also specialize in saving people's lives. We get to not only work in just one area, but all areas of the hospital, from the emergency room to ICU, from neonatal care to long-term care, all the way into patient home care. This is what makes us unique. There's never just a situation in which you were bored. You're very actively using the skills that you have learned at Gannon University. Gannon University has sponsored the respiratory program for over 40 years. They have had an exceptionally good pass rate for our students. We're working on our third year in a row of 100% pass rates for our exams. Our program is set up as a baccalaureate program along with the sleep specialist certificate. So we prepare students so when they do graduate, they can go into any field in respiratory and any hospital to work. Not, not only do we teach respiratory therapy here, we teach all health sciences here. So to better prepare you to go into the hospital world, we have a clinical simulation lab that interacts with every department in that simulation lab, just like you would in the real world. Who is leading the forefront with that is Dr. Rowane. He is our medical director and top pulmonologist here in Erie, Pennsylvania. The the field of pulmonary is quite diverse and respiratory therapists also have a field that's quite diverse too. Uh, I think of respiratory therapy as basically uh, the people that stand with us in the care of patients with respiratory diseases. Respiratory diseases are a very broad, diversified patient group including critical care with life support, uh, with pulmonary disease, COPD, emphysema, asthma, uh, lung cancer, and sleep medicine. And they're different disciplines altogether. I don't make rounds in the intensive care unit unless the respiratory therapist is there with me. We make changes together and we record those changes together. We often have a very good dialogue because they're the folks I truly work with. Separate from that, the nursing staff is of utmost importance, but they spend time almost solely on one patient, whereas the rest of our therapists are involved with all the patients. Hence, they follow me around and we work hand in hand. So for the pulmonologist, we highly depend upon the rest of our therapist. Gannon's program is very unique because not only do we pull from community students, we pull from global students. So we get a review of all of the world of what's going on and how to be true respiratory therapists, not just here, but globally. Our unique gift allows us to be better prepared to go into any clinical site. Our clinical sites are very unique as well because every site you go into, you are pre-reviewed by a Gannon graduate. They too have also become leaders in their field. So who better to learn from than the leaders themselves? So the program here really prepares you before you go to the clinical settings. So before you go to clinical settings, you have to be BLS certified, which is basic life support, and ACLS certified, which is advanced cardiac life support. And then you also do a lot of lab experience before you actually go to the clinical settings. So when you go to clinical settings, you're gonna be prepared because you've worked um, on, on, the, on the devices, on the machines, you know everything. In the clinical setting, so you learn everything in the lab and then you get to go to the real world and in the real world you work with a RT preceptor which is a mentor, a person who guides you, who teaches you, who works there so they know the experiences there and they teach you what they know and honestly it's been awesome. I've had amazing ones and they honestly want you to learn. We do our clinical rotations in a lot of different hospitals and we work in the floors and we work in ICU, uh, intensive care units, and we also work in the NICUs, which is um, care units for babies and infants. So when I go to the real world, I'm going to be really prepared because I worked with a lot of different units and hospitals. I know what is expected from me when I go work in different units.